Welcome to class. We are ready for today's skills lesson. Yay. And today we're going to warm up by blending two syllable words. So I'm going to give you all the syllables and all the sounds and you're going to give me words. So if I said, you ready? J, a, m, p, ng. You would tell me jumping. You put jump ink, ju you put jump ink, jumping. Okay? All right, let's do another one. N odd, ed, nodded. The word is nodded. Excellent. The next one, okay? Here we go. And er thunder. The word is thunder. Good job. All right. Uh, let's see what we got. Five more, maybe. Let's keep going though. Trombone. Who plays trombone? Grace? Jill? Miss Leo? I mean, I did, but it was really bad. Don't, mm -mm, don't. Mm -mm, we, did, we didn't, we didn't stay with that for long. All right, next one, next one. T R A M P E T. Trumpet. Trumpet. That's that other instrument that was being played. And nope, I won't give you that one. Mm, it's t er. Mister, Mister. Good, good, good. Okay, here we go. T ool b ah. Last one, last one. Out. Oh, I'm. Outline. Outline. That is outline. Good job. Good job. All right, guys. So today we're going to work some more on plural nouns. Plural nouns. There we go. And your actually going to complete a page in your cat book with me. We're going to do this together right now. And we've talked about plural nouns a lot. Plural nouns generally end in S or ES. And plural means more than one. So we've got, but we have two different types of endings. That, sorry, there's two different ending spellings and three different ending sounds that we encounter when dealing with plural nouns. So we get the S, we get the S, sometimes it's more buzzy, and then we get the E, S, S. Makes sense. The first three are done for, so we're going to go ahead and fill those out. So our first one, our, our leading word is cats. So cats, more than one cat, ends in S, makes the S sound. Whereas... They're the compadres, the companion, Francis, if he had a crew, would be dogs. Dogs. What you hear is actually the sound z, but it's the, still the spelling s because that is what we add to nouns to indicate that they are plural, that there is more than one. So, dogs. Dogs. Okay? And our last one, our example, is foxes. Foxes. Because fox, one, has an ending, has one of those endings that we know falls into the category that you use ES. So, foxes. So, S, cats, s, s, dogs, z, and e, s, foxes, s. Those are the endings. They're all, all these spellings, all these sounds are attached to noun 
marks to indicate that there are more than one. So let's go ahead and sort the words that are given, and I might add, add a couple extra ones, and when it's all said and done, you're going to turn in a picture of not just what's in the book, but the version we do together. All right, so we've done the first three. The next word is shark. Shark. This one, let me just make sure I'm saying it right. Hold on. See, I'm loving the fact that we actually recognize that there's two different sounds being made when you're adding S to nouns. Because I will say that when I was younger, the way they taught it to us, they did not help us understand that distinction between the S and the Z, both being made by the letter S. So it's actually like, I find it a refreshing to see the, um, the change, but in this case, for sharks, what do you hear at the end of sharks? You hear the sound So we're going to put sharks over here in the group, okay? Sharks. And then I don't really like crossing off words because then you can't see them. And what if you want to, I don't know, use it for something else? Use these words to help you inform your writing. You can't see them. The next word, you go across the next word is forks. Ork. Forks. That's a sound word. Good. Or more than one forks. Go get the forks and set the table. Go get some forks so we can eat. <laughs> the next word. The next word. Listen, kids. Kids. What sound do you hear at the end of the word kids? Yeah, the S, I know we've, uh, yes, it is an S and it makes the sound Z. Kids. K id. One. More than one. Kids. K ids. Kids. All right, the next word. The next word is dishes. Dishes. So this sound and spelling. There's actually a whole different spelling for this sound, and that's the ES, because like fox, dish has one of the endings that we've been told you must use an ES. Well, dish, dish, don't even sound right, does it? Fox, mm -mm. foxes, dishes, dishes. And in the case of dishes, foxes, the S makes more of the Z sound. Not as, not quite as buzzy as dogs and kids, but it's still foxes, foxes and dishes. It's a little like sizz, it's a sizz. Kind of smushed it all in there together. The <laughs> next word, no, you tell me this one. Tell me what's in the book, which book? Porches, good. Porches, p or ch is. So ch is another ending that lends itself to meaning the es when you're making the word plural. Porches, porches. A porch is like the front step on a house. That's usually that's a porch. Okay. So porches. Porches. The next word I have for you, these are my hands. Hands. These are my hands. The word is hands. And what do you hear at the end of hands? I'm stretching it for emphasis right now, but just say hands. Normal. Hands. Mm -hmm. It's a small one, but you hear the little bit, the more of a z sound. Hands. All of these are still the same S and ES endings for plural nouns. What we're doing is we're recognizing that the S K 
can have different sounds to it. Last word on here is, what's the word? Crabs, 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 good, crabs. And we're gonna sneak in a couple extra ones. Crabs, crabs. I want to do one more with you. How about bikes? I'm gonna switch colors because this is not on the worksheet. Yes, you're still responsible for it. It's not printed on the worksheet. You're still responsible for these. Bikes, bikes. What do you hear with bikes? Mm, correct. You hear the s sound. Bikes. Now, I chose this one on purpose because we've seen the ending S sounds s with short vowels and R controlled. And I wanted to show you that it is, it can still sound like s when followed being a, a long vowel sound. So the vowel says its name, bikes. So we got foxes, dishes, porches. Lunches, wishes, ranches. Who was going? Kisses. Kisses. Let's do kisses. Just because I want you to see the different endings on these nouns that lead you to use the ES. If it ends in X, shh, shh, S, S, S. So, sh, 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 sh. now for the um, the ch, it's also tch, tch too. So something itches, something itches, but that's not a, that's not a noun. So yes, this is what yours looks like. This is what you will snapshot and send to me, including the bikes and the kisses, the little, the underlines, the details, and the notes that we made as we worked through this together. I should those because we're working together we're working together all right guys so cats sharks forks bites sound like s. dogs kids hands crabs sounds like z. foxes dishes porches kisses sounds like is is all right good job all right, now this is what we did together and you're going to send to me. Let me show you what you're going to do independently. All right, so independently, but, you know, still with me as your partner, A, you're going to be reading and answering the questions about supper. Mm -hmm, supper, yep, yeah, someone's going to have a supper. Let's, uh... Review some of the words that are in phrases that will be in text. Well, first off, supper is another word for dinner. Some people say supper, some people say dinner. We know that Grace and her family, the Spencers, live in the Midwest. And as someone who was kind of raised there, supper is a term you hear more often in that part of the country. It also falls in line with the area that we have started exploring, too. That is what will become the Midwest. So, yes. All right, so in the story, there will be a conversation about... Fresh greens, so a salad made from leafy crops, crops being vegetables, things grown for eating, such as kale, spinach, shards. Um, it's a cold salad, so I'm assuming there won't be um, uh, collards and mustard greens because those are typically served warmed. Red velvet, oh yes, red. it's a red chocolate cake that usually has a cream cheese frost into it if done right. Mm, chef's kiss. Another expression, at the wheel, which means driving the car. Hmm. I don't know, guys. So listen. So read the story and to carefully to find out what Grace serves at Sunday supper. And then complete and answer the questions. Complete and answer the questions. Yes. Matter of fact, in this space right here, bonus point if you draw me a picture to match to go with this question. Right here, bonus points if you draw me, I'll give you a bonus point if you draw me a picture here to go with this question there. Mm -hmm. But include your page numbers and be prepared to take and send pictures of this to me. You're also going to have spelling word practice. This did not go anywhere. Now, clearly, I can't give you the word search, unfortunately, but we are going to build sailboat words. So let me show you an example of that. We'll use the word nugget. So a sailboat word is where you write the word 
well, adding one letter and you'll end up making like a triangular shape. So we'll do nugget. So N to be on the first line. The next line, N-U, N-U-G, N-U-G-G, N-U-G-G-E, N-U-G-G-E-T. And you see it kind of forms like a triangular sail type shape. So that's sailboat words. You're gonna do that with each of your words. Paper and pencil, yes. You're gonna do sailboat words. You're also going to still draw pictures for your words. You're gonna draw pictures to represent each word. And the one I chose to do today was knit. Knit shows something that someone is knitting, shows something that's got knit, like a sc scarves tend to be knitted, hats, gloves, those kinds of things are where you'll see the use of this material to uh, create knit patterns and such. All right, guys, that is all I have for you. Can't wait to see you guys later. Um, yeah, that, that's it. I'll see you guys later. Bye.